Logan Stargazer here, the Smexiest Avatar in the world. I'm going to show you how to make a 12 sided die, a dodecahedron. I believe that's what it's called. First step would be turn off shadows for convenience, they're already off. If you look up here in view, you'll see shadows, shadows on, shadows off. Shadows get in the way and they slow down the rendering. And we don't want the Smexy curl, so erase the Smexy curl. First step, a five-sided polygon. Draw, shapes, polygon. It's already five sides. Good. Snap it to the, snap it to the axis, the center here, and snap the corner to here. If this were not five-sided, I could, I could use the keyboard. 3S, three sides. 7S, seven sides. 9S, nine sides. But I want 5S, five sides. And make it a good size and snap it right to that axis there. Good enough. Click. Make it a component. Double click. Make component. As a component, I can duplicate that piece now very easily. And I'm going to need 12 of them eventually. Now I need a guideline for one of the one of the rotations coming up. For some reason, some mathematical reason, perhaps someone can explain the corner to corner. What's it called? Hippopotamus. The hippopotamus of the rectangle is the right angle on a golden section right rectangle. Hypotenuse, whatever. So, draw shapes rectangle. Start it here, right? Snap it to that corner. Draw it up in the air. Wiggle it around till it's in golden section. Snatch, uh, SketchUp will tell you. Look, that's a square. See a diagonal line corner to corner? It says square. I want a golden rectangle. There, here's one. Snap. Click, I mean. Here's a golden rectangle. Next step, I'm going to create a guideline from that corner to that corner. Tape measure. That corner to that corner. And here's my guideline. See the dotted line? Select the rectangle and get rid of it. Now comes fun with the rotation copy. A very powerful function. Takes a little bit of get your mind wrapped around how it works, but it's worth the time. Click. I want to, I want to copy and rotate this with the rotate tool. First you need to pick the spot of rotation, which let me think, let me think, would best be this corner because I want to I want to rotate this whole thing around that spot. So that's that's the spot. There's also the axis of rotation, which is what I want. So click, and then I'm just going a dotted line comes out. Next, it's waiting for me to to pick a spot to grab a hold of, an angle to grab a hold of. Not that corner, not that corner, not that corner. This one here. Click, and now you see I can rotate it. But I want to rotate and copy, so I'll tap the control key. And snap the new one. Snap the new one to there. Yeah, simple, huh? If you didn't catch it, I'll show you this at least four more times, I think more. Now I want to rotate this piece. Rotate. This is a spot of rotation, but I'm on the wrong axis. So don't click anything. Don't click anything. Pick a spot of rotation, hold down the left button, and choose the axis of rotation. Not the green, not the red. I want whatever axis this is, this black line here. See it? Not that, not that. This one. And let's go. Okay, now I pick the spot to grab a hold of, which will be this corner. Grab it and snap it to this line, and we're done with that rotation. We didn't catch that, we're going to do it a whole bunch more times. I want to rotate that piece again. Rotate. Set of rotation. There. The axis is fine, so click. The spot to grab it would be in the mid middle of this line, so move along there. Got it? And I want to drag it over here. But I also want to copy it, so 
tap control to leave a copy behind and snap it to there. Now before I do anything else I need to do this four more times so four times enter. That's really complicated isn't it? There it was done five times and that's half the shape. The next step is going to be to duplicate this rotate it a little bit and it, well I'll show you. Next step would be select it all. And I think for convenience I'm going to make this a group. Here, now it's one piece. Now it's one one consolidated piece. Ah, let me think. Okay. Rotate tool. Uh, ultimately I want to have say I want this corner, this corner over this. So I'm going to say that's the spot of rotation. It's also the good axis, so click. I'm going to grab this here and leave a copy behind and snap it to that corner. And we're done. I'll do it again. I want to copy this thing. Rotate tool. The spot of rotation. Origin. Snap it to there. There. The axis was good, so I hit the click button. I want to grab a hold of this corner drop a copy, and snap it to this point here. Done. Done, done, done. We now, have, we now have two copies of this. One of them is upside down. So, select it. Move. Lock it to the red axis, the blue axis, rather. And move it straight up. I locked it. Well, I could lock it. Actually, I didn't lock it. I'm going to move it manually. See how it snaps to the blue? Uh, snaps to the blue there. I could lock it with the up arrow, but that's all right. Either way, move it manually until it snaps to the blue and drop it. You need to turn that whole piece inside out. Scale tool. Grab the top and pull it inside out. Actually, minus one for the scale does a perfect job of turning it inside out. I'll do that again. I'm going to grab half of it, move it up along the blue axis, then I'm going to scale it, grab the top and pull it inside out for a scale of minus one enter. Almost done. We take the move tool now and grab this corner and snap it right to there. There we go. A 12 sided die. Select it all. Explode the groups. Explode the components. And there we go. It's now one joined mesh piece. Exploding in SketchUp would be joining in Blender. It's now one joined piece. That's how you make a 12 sided die. The next step would be texturing it and take it into world which I will show you when I do the other die the other die video coming up in a few minutes any questions just IM me thank you